Welcome to No Man's Sky and here we are guys, we're up on an elevated trading station on an extreme planet or extreme sentinel planet actually as you can see here it says sentinels high security and the reason we're here guys is because in this video I want to try out a method suggested by Sabatsu for killing high level sentinels and if I sound a little bit nervous guys it is because I am a little bit nervous although I have taken the precaution any of you guys who follow my regular permadev series this is not my permadev series that I'm putting on the line for this experiment this is actually a survival series that I used to play before the update 1.3 the Atlas Rises update and I still use for conducting experiments and trying things out like this so how does this technique work well the idea is that you're effectively using the elevated platform of the trading station as a secure gun platform to shoot down sentinels and what you actually do is you initiate the process by attacking a sentinel we got to find somebody some sentinel or something to attack and then what you do is you let the the actual sentinel escalate up to the point where you get to the highest level one which is the big walkers kill that and then you can that means you can kill all the high level sentinels and of course the first thing we actually need to do is find a sentinel to aggravate and of course it's a little bit trickier than you may think guys because there oh, oh he didn't aggravate okay but what you do need is if you watch the top right you will see if you get near a sentinel that he they will actually that kind of hostility level will rise so the first thing I need to do is get try and get in a firing position because of course you can't fire at the base itself because the base is indestructible so the first thing I need to do is initiate this process by firing at a sentinel so I think what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go around and see if I can aggravate a sentinel normally it's not that difficult on a hostile planet and I think this is why Sabatsu suggested using a hostile planet because it actually means that the the hostility will escalate faster because I suppose technically you could do this on an, any planet really anyway guys we're just going to there's the sentinel I can't actually see him he's he's insisting on his orbit is actually underneath the edge of the base here which is a pain in the neck guys right guys I have a plan and that is normally if you attack a a patch of minerals you can attract sentinels so if we fire into that area over there that should attract the sentinels go on There he is. So if we fire at him. Stop. There we are. We've woken him up. But you, what Sabatsu says is you don't actually kill him because of course you need him to escalate and what he suggests is you retreat to this area while the escalation process goes on and you can see him there you hide in here the sentinel generally don't they come underneath the base as you can see guys it's now come up here and we've now escalated to level two and he's now got reinforcements coming in this should be the next tier up so what we do need to do is try and shoot these down we're going to try and kill these guys his, re his initial reinforcements he's gone underneath the base okay <laughs> okay if I'm, if I'm sounding nervous guys it is because I am very very nervous okay hey ah we need a firing position firing position let's get out underneath here yeah, there he is get round here we may be able to get an angle there we are and while that's actually been happening the elite sentinels now being deployed what we got to do now is try and find him 
we get into here, what we should be able to do if I, if I just get into camera mode, should be able to find the, there he is there. Now he's right underneath the base, and that's going to make life a little bit difficult to get to him. You can see him here. Hello, Mr. Dogman. And of course, this is also a good way to actually get a close up view of one of these because normally you're fighting for your life. But I mean, you can get a nice look in on the detail on these. And he's actually underneath this one here. So, and of course, he can't actually get the angle. So, we should be able to take this one down pretty easily actually guys wait 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 go away I don't want to kill you I want to kill the other your buddy he's actually roving around okay so we'll just see if we can kill him wait go away I don't want to kill you right that means we've got him there's And what we do need to do now guys is just wait obviously I must have killed the wrong one this is a full strength low level sentinel but that's not a problem guys so what we're going to do now guys is just wait for the escalation to go up another level right guys it's taken a little while to get here but you can see we're just nearly there that's it what it should be telling us now is that getting to the ne next level of S combat okay I'm just gonna out and look here and there it is that's the walker and uh, sorry it's in the dark guys but you can see these are the walker units again it's very rare to have an opportunity to get a close look in at them these are the highest level they're, they're very rare to see especially I mean I wouldn't certainly wouldn't want to go up against one of these in my permadeath series because they are it's in a pretty a bit of an awkward position actually so we may have to looks like there's some extra units around so we may have to take down the mobile unit first as well so, take him down okay so, I think we'd be able to get him from this point now Walkers you can take down with the grenade launcher. Ah, it's not going to let me, is it? Okay. Eight, 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 eight. Find your manners. Okay. You got Walker. And then what we've got to do is deal with the. Uh, lucky the base is indestructible. Okay. What we've got to do now is find the minor sentinels, <laughs> which are. It says that underneath the base. Okay. Maybe there's one. Sorry. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, wow. Sorry for the distraction, guys. Make an offer. I've got, I haven't got the cash for this, but... Wow. Exotic. Okay. Hey. It's an exotic ship is going to get me killed. And I think that shows the arbitrary nature of No Man's Sky. The fact that... I'm... Wait. Come on. Uh, I'm in the middle of making a video for actually how to kill high level sentinels and an exotic ship shows up and it and what's kind of making me laugh a little bit guys is if any of you guys have followed my permadeath series i've been looking for an exotic ship for ages and i mean literally ages and it just won't show up and there we are guys i'm right in the middle of another video a specialist video and i got an exotic ship okay all right come on I mean, I could go head to head with this guy, really. There he is, he's coming in. Sucker. I uh, got you. And of course, the, tr the trouble with killing sentinels up on the platform, we probably don't get enough of the items. 
but what we can do guys is actually just drop down now and collect the items so I'm gonna have to be a little bit careful because in this game I'm not that particularly leveled up that high with respect to the actual jetpack sorry guys brain faded a little bit there really after is if you take out this large guy here should get is a dimensional matrix no clusters okay there's another one over there oh I was expecting to get a dimensional matrix never mind I think that's about it what is to say again sorry it's a bit in the dark guys but you can actually see the oh it's got some neutrino modules obviously the randomness of the game worked against me and of course this is the wreckage of did I get you what you this is the wreckage of the what you what I call the dog sentinels they look like four-legged dog type sentinels and of course now I've got to get back up onto the base this can be a little bit tricky so just gonna especially with a low power jetpack the easiest way is to kind of go up in two steps so that's how you clear the advanced sentinels down on the base but you can see it so if you look in the top right you still see it's flashing still flashing for or five red triangles so we'll just get up into here and what Sabatsu says is what you've actually got to do now is what on earth is those flashing red lights is that off the top of the walker okay yeah so what Sabatsu says is what you've got to do is there's effectively you've now got advanced sentinels in space and what I'm actually going to do is just drop a save here guys <laughs> because I don't want to lose the save games for this for my survival mode and what we're going to do now is we're just going to fly up into space and I am a bit curious guys so and what he says is you fly up into space and what he says is just drop back down just see if we can and he says if you fly drop back in again system authority starships coming in okay and if you oh I think I might have got myself in a bit of trouble here guys okay, let's go out in space I mean this, this is a bit dopey guys but I've got to see if they come they show up okay Nope, I think we've got away with it, guys. Just hang around in space. And I think that's it, guys. That is how you kill high level sentinels and stay alive, especially if you're playing something like permadeath or survival mode. True, you can go toe to toe with them if you if you really got the upgraded kit. And I think this is where I'm gonna leave this short video. Big thank you to Sabatsu for ma making the suggestion, and it's been a real pleasure making this video, even if I am have been a little bit tense. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to leave the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you found it interesting. And I mean, if you guys got any other suggestions on how to take down Sentinels and other some of the more hostile things in the game, and all I can say, guys, is until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>